Hey Logo Designers, today I'd like to talk to you about how you can change and customize the names of the files and folders that are exported from Logo Package Express using the new naming tab in the settings. To open the settings, come to the gear icon in the upper right of the extension panel window. From here you'll see a number of tabs, and today we're going to be focusing on the naming tab. The first settings you come across will help you establish your naming conventions within the files and the folders themselves. Do you want dashes between the words? Do you want the words to be lowercase or uppercase? All of these things can be changed for both folder names and file names. And for your convenience, you can see a live example of how these files and folders might look with the current settings applied. I'm going to change back to the default because this is my preferred way for saving files. Immediately below these settings, you will start to see all of the fields that you can input custom names for literally every word that makes up the names of the files and folders that Logo Package Express exports. Let's look at a really popular example. Currently, the all black version of the logo is called one color, and the all white version of the logo is called reverse. Even though this language is fairly standard for designers, sometimes clients find it confusing. So let's go ahead and change it to something that they'll understand. Under color schemes, we have one color and reverse. All we need to do is type in our preferred name. So for one color, I will type in black, and for reverse, I will type in white. And you can see that on the fly, the pasteboard has been updated to reflect our changes. There are also several ways to describe the logo mark. Some people call it a symbol, so I can change it to symbol. Some people call it an icon. Anything you want to name these files is totally up to you. Whatever changes you make will be reflected when the files export in both the folder names and the file names. Another very common example is the spelling of the word color. In American English, color is spelled O-R, and in the UK and other English speaking countries, color is spelled with a U. Logo Package Express should detect your language settings automatically and update that spelling for you. But if your Adobe Illustrator preferences are set to American English, then you might want to change the spelling under the naming tab. So let's just take a look. All right, as you can see, we've updated the word color to our preferred spelling. The sky is quite literally the limit here, and you can change these names to anything you want. You can even change the language entirely by translating all of these fields into your preferred language. I hope you get a lot out of this customizability feature, and thanks for watching.